What's up, guys? Master Chim here. Um, I uh, I wanted to go over this infamous math problem. I got to be honest. I just finished training. I'm a sweaty mess. I feel bad for the camera guy because I smell terrible right now. But um, I just checked my Facebook, and I'm just blown away by the amount of people that are screwing this up. Okay. So rather than keep up with the little one sentence, you know, retorts. I'm going to make a video, everybody can see it, we're going to break it down, and hopefully everybody will be able to, at the end of this video, do math as well as a fifth grader, okay? Um, for the record, although I do homeschool my kids, uh, my oldest is five, and he's not even up to this yet, so I can't uh, have him come in here and do it, because believe me, that would have been the video. So uh, you're not as bad as a five-year-old, but you're close, all right? So, six minus one times zero plus 2 divided by 2. Well, in order to solve this basic math problem, we go to the what's called order of operations. And the easy way to remember the order of operations is please excuse my dear aunt Sally. That helps us remember the acronym. Some of us that are more comfortable with math and this lesson in particular, uh, remember PENDAS. Um, but please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is how I would teach it to my kids when they get older. And you can make up a story, you know, pretend you have uh, an Aunt Sally and she's about 6'4", 340 pounds, and you're in a crowded room and she just farted, right? And everybody's like freaking out over it. And you're like, oh, Jesus, and uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So whatever helps you remember it is going to help you remember it. But what this stands for, okay, is P parentheses parentheses, right, E, exponents, M, D, multiplication, I'm going to start abbreviating, and division, addition, subtraction, A and S, addition, subtraction, now these are sort of joined together, these are sort of joined together, and what that means is, when it comes to these, we go left and right, okay? So once everything's in uh, these terms, we can then just go left to right like we're probably used to. And if you think about it, most of the time with simple math, you stay within this bubble of addition and subtraction, and what do you do? You go left to right, 7 minus 3 plus 2 minus 6 plus 8 so on and so forth, okay? So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Now let's apply it to this problem here, all right? Now what I'm going to do is very quickly erase this, and we're going to break this down. Now, 6 minus 1 times 0 plus 2 divided by 2. Well, sticking with those bubbles before, right, we know that the first thing, that we have to do with the order of operations is parentheses. There are no parentheses here. The next thing are exponents. There are no exponents, and exponents are, you know, one to the second power, that stuff. Didn't take out an I. There's none of that stuff. So, the next thing we have are multiplication and division. Well, it just so happens that we have a multiplication example and a division example here. So those are going to be done first. So, 1 times 0 is 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Carrying everything else down, because this becomes this, and that becomes that, we have 6 minus 0 plus 1. Now, we're in that other bubble, right? That bubble that said addition and subtraction. Everything that we have now is in that bubble. So what do we do? We go left to right, just like reading, all right, in this country at least. Hopefully it'll stay that way too. It's another video. So 6 minus 0 is, I mean, I, I don't know if I really have to do this, but I'll do it for the sake of being thorough. 6 minus 0 is 6 plus 1. 6 plus 1 
is what was my favorite answer I got? I think on my master chin page, some poor guy put 3.8. No, go headbutt a screw, okay? Put it in the wall halfway first. Save us all some problems, all right? Six plus one is seven, okay? So the infamous six minus one times zero plus two divided by two, following the process, it's not still on the board, but you could rewind the video at this point, winds up being seven. Now, I'm going to post this video on these threads. I guarantee you, somebody's still going to put one, five, 3.5. It's still going to happen. But for those of you that took the time to watch this, thank you. Um, hopefully, I, uh, those of you that have children, fifth grade, around nine years old, maybe eight, it's a good time to start with the acronym, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, order of operations, math, it's awesome. Okay, if you don't believe me, just take my word for it. All right, Master Chim out. Peace.